Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Ostoy, developer of the Integrated Movement System. Welcome to this edition of Integrated Movement Insider. We had a couple questions from our readers around optimal scapular mechanics during the pushing and pulling patterns, especially as the weight gets heavier. So I apologize for the dim lighting and the sound of this video, but I wanted to take advantage of the quiet gym area right here so I can shoot this video with a heavier load. Now a heavier load, again, being re relative to the client that you're working with. But the mechanics I'm gonna discuss here in this video applies to the majority of the general population clients that we work with and train in our own clinic. So what we wanna do during our fundamental pulling pattern that we'll demonstrate in this video is reinforce all the optimal mechanics we wanna see through the scapular during pulling patterns. So for example, we wanna see that the thoracopelvic cylinder stays aligned, the head and neck stay long from the back. Through the concentric phase, I wanna pull and not pull the elbow so far back that I start to roll the shoulder into an anterior tilt position. I want to pull and stay open and wide through the front of the shoulder. And we're really the first people to really start to teach our clients in the industry how to stay open and wide through the shoulder because that is the most optimal way to keep the width, to keep the pectoralis minor, the muscle that often pulls the shoulder forward, relaxed and more open and more stabilizing the shoulder versus pulling the shoulder down and forward that so many of our clients experience, both relating to forward shoulder position as well as chronic neck and upper back tension. So again, we want to pull, stay nice and open and wide, and then also in the bent over version, we want to make sure we control this as the arm goes forward and not the scapula goes so far forward. So here's how it looks in the bent over dumbbell row pattern. Again, it's gonna look like the range of motion is much more limited, and it is because I'm using scapular control because I wanna reinforce those optimal mechanics during my pulling pattern. So here's how it looks. First thing, I line myself up so my body is in a nice hip hinge position, the thoracopelvic cylinder is stacked, my spine is long. I grab my dumbbell, support one hand on the bench. So now, pull the dumbbell up, so now I'm set up for my row pattern, I'm gonna pull, stay open and wide to the front of my shoulder, not pulling so far forward so I pull the shoulder into an anterior tilt, I stay open and wide, so I pull, and then release and control, not allowing that weight to pull me back down in that position. So I control, pull, and then release back to the starting position, pull, release back to the starting position, one more time, pull, release back to the starting position, so that way my dumbbell row pattern reinforces the alignment and more importantly, the control that we want to see through the scapula and the shoulder complex during the pulling patterns. And that's really the key to using corrective exercise and understanding the anatomy, biomechanics, and motor control around the shoulder complex and using your fundamental movement patterns to reinforce all the optimal mechanics you need and want for your general population clients. I hope this video helps serve you. I hope you enjoyed it and can use this information with your own general population clients. If you're looking for additional resources, check out Corrective Exercise Solutions to Common Hip and Shoulder Dysfunction, and also take advantage of our brand new online training portal, where we really go in depth into several topics around the ankle and foot, the thorax, and of course, the shoulder complex, where we pack this content with information related to the mechanics we discussed here, but more importantly, we teach you what optimal function is, the anatomy, biomechanics, and motor control, the corrective exercise patterns we use most with our own general population clients, and then how to take that information and take it into those fundamental movement patterns, those pushing and pulling patterns that will help your clients do the things that they need to, that they want to, and they love to do. So check out, click on the links below to find out more information about these products. This is Dr. Evan Oster with Integrated Movement Insider. I'll catch you next time. Take care.